All right, guys, this is going to be a quick video on how to make pierogies. These are the bomb. If you had them, you already know. If you haven't, you need to try them. Now, everything up here is optional. Actually, the onions and the um, everything you need and the only thing that is optional is what I'm trying to say is the cream cheese and the onions. Now, onions, I'm just like, you can't do a good pierogi without the onions. Sometimes you can do peppers, mushrooms, it depends. But we're just going to do a basic pierogi. These are the pierogi, pierogies that I got from Sam's Club. Love them. Big, huge bag of them. And these are the classic cheddar. Pierogies come in so many different types. You got cheese with mushroom, cheese with spinach. These are just cheddar and potatoes. So what it is, it's like a sort of like a pasta style doughy um, uh, little, I can't say pastry. I don't know what, it's a pierogi. That's what it is. <laughs> and it has potatoes and filling inside of it. So this one is just a classic cheddar and I'm gonna show you how I make them and how they come out so freaking tasty. Forgot my parsley. So what we have here is some thyme, some parsley, some black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, adobo. Now, adobo can be replaced with every um any seasoning of your choice that's what i meant to say i'm sorry i'm trying to move fast because i'm upstairs editing at the same time and my husband is hungry so i wanted to make these and he don't know i make them like i do so i'm gonna whip them up for us so um this can be replaced for whatever seasoning that you choose um like laurie seasoning um cavenger seasoning creek tony um the creole seasoning all those different seasonings and we have some minced garlic so let's get into how to make them it is very simple First of all, you want to have a medium heat and then you want to put your pan down. And once you put your pan down, you're going to take and put some olive oil in it. And I'll say about a good, I'll say two to three tablespoons of olive oil. And you want that to get hot. And once that get hot, we will be right back. All around. Make sure we got like a good amount. Yeah, good two tablespoons. And see, when you have olive oil, you can get away with using a little bit more than you would any other oils. Okay, so to ensure that you get a good coating of the pierogi, what you can do at this point is you can take your garlic, and I'm putting about a half a teaspoon of all of the ones I'm showing you, and you can hear it sizzling. So that means we can put the onions in. Onion powder, black pepper. I love, love, love black pepper. Gotta have it. And then we have our thyme. Thyme gives it a different flavor. Gotta have that, gotta have that. And then we have some parsley, just for color, and a little flavor, not too much. And then we're gonna have our adobo. And so we're gonna place that in there as well. And this, I'll say, is a little over a half a teaspoon because we want them to be flavored. We don't want no ilky um, pierogi. So see, you have it nice and hot. And so you're going to kind of do your thing with it. And this is when you're going to put your onions in. So we want to kind of saute these onions, let them get a little translucent. And then we're going to put our pierogies in, mix it all around so that the flavoring gets on the pierogies, and then cover it up so that the pierogies can um, cook in the inside because these are frozen. Now you can, to eliminate cooking time, you can unthaw however many pierogies you want. Hubby just thought about these last minute, so we're doing them frozen, but you'll see that as well. So if you unthaw them, they'll cook faster, okay? And so you're gonna saute all this goodness. Y'all see all that goodness? Oh, with them red onions. Red onions are the most flavorful and they have like a nice sweet taste to them. I love them. So we're gonna let that cook and we're gonna be back when that is translucent to add our pierogies. Now, when you add that minced garlic, it's going to give it a roasted garlic taste. That is why I love to put garlic in a lot of my food to give it a roasted garlic taste. I mean, you can't go wrong with garlic. And these are almost where we need them. And so we can add our pierogies. This is so simple, y'all. Now, sometimes you can add a side dish, but you know, we got that uh, situation going on in the world. This is what they look like. And it's like sort of like a pasta, but not really. I, I really haven't done research to really figure out what this is called. It's called a pierogi, but is it considered a pasta or I don't know. It's not potato because potatoes inside. So I don't know. So now you just throw them in like this. And what I'm going to do is flip them around 
just so all of my seasonings can get on the pierogies. And then once I get them nice and coated, I am going to put a top on them so that they can continue cooking, okay? And we will be back when they are done. See how they're still hard? So once I put the top on it, it creates steam and more heat and then they will cook in the inside. And what I do is once I get them to where I want them, I kind of fry them to brown the sides of them, the outsides of them. But for right now, we leave it like that. And we will be putting a top on it. We'll be putting a top on it to uh, let them cook and you will see the steam start to build in there and that is going to be the way that it cooks from the inside so i'll be back while i'm waiting i usually take a nice hunk of cream cheese this is enough for two people and i put it in a microwave for about 20 seconds to soften it because this tastes amazing if i'm not eating sour cream i have to have um cream cheese so either one of those i have to have my pierogi so if you don't like either you don't have to eat it like that you can eat it just plain but i have to have some sour cream or cream cheese so this is the option that i was speaking about all right so we're gonna check on it and as you see see some of them are browning and if they are sticking to the bottom you have them on too high you don't want anything to stick to the bottom of your pan so you want them to just nicely brown and cook and see they're getting tender where I can literally push into them that's what you want be patient and just let them do their thing all right guys they are actually done they have a little browning on them you don't want to brown them too much why because they are actually going to get crispy if you brown them too much so just a little bit of browning that's all you need and I'm going to show you um, just how I eat mine. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Like, that's how you make a pierogi. And look how tasty these things look. Oh my gosh. Because I'm going to cut one open so you can, can see exactly what I'm talking about. But these are done. Let's cut one open. So I told you guys I softened my cream cheese up. And that's how I eat it. So you could take, you can actually do it with a fork. But for video purposes, I'm trying to be all neat. So you can see all the potato inside there. It's like a cheddar potato. And I take some cream cheese that's softened on the corner. And I just stick it into the pierogi and I eat it like that. See that? Oh my gosh, y'all. Mm. Mm -hmm. If you haven't fried you must try mm, I had to get that down guys you must try these are amazing kids love them and adults love them the kids might not like the onions but it's a preference so if you try them let me know below if you have any questions about it let me know below and I will see you guys in the next video later gators and stay tuned up above somewhere should show you my playlist of all my cooking videos of all the different um, things that I've made on my channel to share with you all right later gators